really hasn't helped his own cause largely with that ineffectual left hand. Well, he's certainly been our class. Yes, Pastanga Buran from Thailand is uh, outclassing him in almost every sense of the word. His counter-punching is better, speed is better. And if this young fellow from Hungary is going to keep relying on that one punch, it's just not going to come. He's got to increase his workload by throwing more left jabs or right jabs. There's no effect, no authority in that right jab of his whatsoever. Underway, round number three, light middleweight division, 71 kilos, or a tick over 11 stone in the old language. Pornshai Thongbaran in the red is having his way here with Karoli Bolshoi from Hungary in the blue. Much taller man, a southpaw. Now Bolshoi does want to get a little busier here. His credentials are first class. He's won tournaments in Germany, Norway, Hungary, Pakistan, Great Britain. But again, it's Thongbaran who scores first here. Although, likewise, Karoli Bolshoi adds to his tally inside the first 30 seconds. Trading punches with Thong Buran isn't going to help his cause. He needs to start doing some work. And as you can see, Bolshoi Thong Buran is very controlled at the moment. He's in no fear at all in front of Karoli Bolshoi. Body shot right on the belt line, but not a scoring punch according to the referees. Now he works upstairs, and the left hand is a scoring punch. So, Bomberan's taking his foot off the accelerator here, and it's 3 1 in this round in favour of Karoli Bolshoi so far. In a much better round from Bolshoi, but Bomberan has contributed to that because his work rate has slipped dramatically. Fumbaran taking a, a breather here in this third round. Did all of his hard work in the first two. And he hasn't been very aggressive in his third stanza. And had it just one point. Bolashoy has been building his tally, but is still going to have a significant difference to catch up in the final round. As we check inside the last 10 seconds of this third stanza. I cannot understand why Bolshoi is actually waiting now for this young fella to make make the move. Standing eight count has been applied here on Bolshoi Thongbaran. Right at the end of round number three. So he paid the penalty there for taking his mind off the job. He dominated Karoli Bolshoi through the first two rounds convincingly. 11 points to three. Decided to take a breather in the third round and Bolshoi caught up with him. Outscored him four points to two. And a standing out eight count applied as well. Doesn't appear to have taken too much harm from it. But he's certainly going to have to get his mind back on the job in the last two minutes if he's going to advance to the quarterfinals. great character from the Hungarian coach we've listened in with him previously particularly in Jolt Air Day's first performance and I'm sure he'd get a start as a movie star as well with a voice like that we're underway here and again it's Poncho Thongbaran who scores first in the round he's done that in each of the four so far and he leads by eight against Karoli Bolshoi from Hungary in the blue the southpaw stance creating few problems for Thongbaran. He's a very strong customer. And he's prepared to stand in front of Karoli Bolshoi now and let him unload and be a little more selective with his punches. Well, the lead is cut to six after it was eight at the end of two rounds and seven coming into this last stanza. So he is tiring. Thongshai Thongbaran is standing eight count applied in the third round now. He gets a little busier after Bolshoi had closed to within five. But now it's back to seven. And with a little over 60 seconds remaining, 
Unshai Thong Buran should be able to protect this advantage and advance to the next round. Yes, the young fella from Hungary is not going to be able to close this door. We've got 41 seconds to go. And he's definitely allowed this bout to slip out of his hand. Nice left hand again from Karoli Bolshoi. And again, a standing eight count is applied here to Hongshai Thongbaran. So consecutive rounds. Now referee steps in to supply the standing eight count. He's getting very tired indeed. Hongshai Thongbaran led 7-2 at the end of one round and 11-3 at the end of the second round. But since then, it's been heavily weighted in favour of Karoli Bolshoi. And certainly inside the last 10 seconds, Thongbaran just needs to maintain his composure. He needs to be careful because Karoli Bolshoi is loading up looking for the knockout, but it's not going to come. Fast finish to the fight from Karoli Bolshoi. He outscores his opponent 5-3 in round number four. But it is Pornshai Thongbaran from the red corner who will advance. Yes, young Bolshoi can blame himself for that. There's no question about it. He should not have allowed himself to get uh, drawn into... He allowed this fight to slip out of his hand. He was definitely the pitcher of the two. Well, a good finish to the fight from Karoli Bolshoi from Hungary, the three-time national champion. But he's come up short here, and Point Shui Thombara from Thailand gets the decision is now through to the quarterfinals. Well, the fistic fury of the boxing there. Well, tonight it's an Aussie feast on C7 Olympics. Don't forget, we're on air 24 hours a day.